Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Gildrak Season 7, where we are rocking some shiny new gear that we were given by Super, who is part of our guild. He's gotten us full armor plus um, some tools. So we are super happy that we are now in Diamond. We'll be a little less easy to kill. We haven't died yet. And the server's been open for a few days now. And I have not died once. We are on a roll, people. We are on a roll. Anyways, um, today in this episode, we're going to be working on a bee farm, which will eventually end up inside of a greenhouse. Um, we also are probably going to be expanding it at some point. So we're going to build one portion of it. And that's the one that will give us honey bottles because our guild mate, Dicky needs some honey blocks for his tree farm. So we need to get on this because he needs to get his farm built and we need to get him some honey blocks. All right, so let's jump into this. Let me turn myself around here. We got ourselves a little build chest over here. And I am going to say we are working based upon... Um, Foxy No Tail and one of the uh, episodes he has done recently, well, not recently, a couple of months ago in the Truly Bedrock server. So this is his thing. I'm just kind of trying to, to um, make it seem a little, make it a little bit different because I don't want to use as many hoppers as he has um, because of course on a ser small server that causes a lot of light. So let's see here. We need some blocks and the first thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to put this. We're making ours eight beehives long. So bear with me as I kind of puzzle this out. That needs to go up there. Six, seven, and eight. Once again, it's counting with just day. And so we're going to take out these two, I think. And where's our hoppers and our chests? So let's put our chests in bunk. Right. And before we really get going, let's see here. This is the exterior wall of our main build here. I don't want to build something and then have to rebuild it later because I put it in the wrong spot. <coughs> Excuse me. So then we need some hoppers going into these chests. And I'm trying to debate whether or not we do four hoppers to make it unload a little faster but i don't think we're quite as big as what he was making so and i will make sure to link in the video that i watched the videos that i watched <coughs> for this and let's do nope i don't want in the hopper there we go. All right. I'm sorry, sign. You're going to have to move. All right. And then do we have our leaves? We do. And oh, let me grab some scaffolding quick. Actually, no, because I'm the worst with scaffolding. We're going to go ahead and strip these. <coughs> We do have several beehives down there that I have bred up bees for. Um, well, grown the trees to get bees for. Them. And then, oh, you know what we didn't get? We didn't get a hopper mine cart. Uh, okay, let's grab one of those. And then we'll grab one of those. 
and then he is gonna just run along this line. We need some glass. Yeah, we got this. We're gonna leave him unpowered for the moment. And um, we need we need one more lover. Where is it? Lover. All right, we'll come back to that. Um, so then we need some glass along the front of here. silk touch one here i'm so happy to have silk touch back so 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 happy so let's get the right one here <coughs> all right and then we need some blocks because we need to bring this up some more Let's try it from another spot. There we go. And these will mean that we don't need to have flowers inside the farm. And then we need some more glass. We are making our honey farm a total of eight long we're just gonna go ahead and do that right away too bing bang boom okay and then let's see here we still need another line that I believe Bonk. all right let's get um, we need some blocks along the back here so let's do Eventually, I think we'll probably have another one back to this that will give us honeycomb. And that's not why. Uh, that's why I'm not getting rid of the farms over there or the hives over there because I need them for to keep breeding for honeycomb to make more more uh, beehives, bee nests. I guess they're called. Oh, I put that down one too far. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Sleep. That's what we need. So let's hop back up here and get our bee nests in. I also am going to need to put in. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Well, I guess that one didn't matter. I didn't really need it right that second. 
<clears throat> I'm going to need to put in a door because we're going to need to breed a bajillion bees to fill all these hives. And actually, we need to take out one of these. Didn't really need silk touch on that, but whatever. Um, all right, so maybe we take this guy and let's make a door. Do we want to run that route? I don't think we do. Let's not. Let's not say we didn't. Let's just do a birch one. Okay. And then we need the dispensers. So we're going to need to put up some temporary blocks along the top here. <clears throat> we also are going to have to run over to the witch farm that Sam has made and put in or get some did that go the right way i don't think it did nope did that go the right way my directional hoppers are not working yep there we go okay but now i gotta go around the front that door. I don't like that. Um, okay, where'd my hive go? There we go. Um, I don't know that we're going to have enough glass here. I just remembered we needed more glass for something else here. All right. I think we actually... That'll allow me to stand up in there while I breed bees and not worry about it. All right. Let's <clears throat> clean this up a little. Okay. Now we need we need another lever so that we can get this mine cart going. We need a few sticks, I think. Lever? Lever lever? Where are you, lever? Cobble. Didn't it grab? And grab the cable. Uh, we're probably going to need a couple more of those, so let's just do two more. All right. 
so then if we power that Ivy. There we go. There we go. It be working. Okay. So now I think we can theoretically put the bees in and then start breeding them up, which that's going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be back with you once I have the bees done. All right. Hello everybody, welcome back. And I was over getting myself this fancy bow at the villager trading hall and uh, iron farm when Wolf rolled up and said he had left me something in my mailbox. So. I came on over to look, and he's got some nice, fancy, shiny new gear, doesn't he? And, oh my gosh, look at that! The Netherite King has gotten us Netherite gear. I am so excited. I am so excited. So... He, he wanted to record me finding my present. So. Alrighty. So look at this. We go from having boom. full diamond and pretty good gear to oh my gosh gear this is like god level gear feather falling protection four depth strider unbreaking and mending protection four unbreaking three mending we are going to be very hard to kill Okay, welcome back everybody. Now, I know it hasn't been that long for you, but it has been days for me. So when I originally went to put the hives in here to start breeding up the bees, the second hive that I had over there was empty. I don't know if the bees wandered off or if someone came over here to collect some honeycomb or some wheat and accidentally killed my bees, but the hive was empty so it took me a while to rebreed and then breed up all the bees in here and then we realized that the way it was set up the tutorial I'd followed didn't really work so I had to have the boys come over and they futzed with it and it was working okay and then they futzed with it again and it's working a little bit better but um, we're probably going to have to take this one down and rebuild a whole entire different version if we want to um, get a really efficient farm. Now, we have collected more than a stack of honey blocks already um, because Akita Wolf took some and Dickie took some for his tree farms. So we are making something. It's just not quite as efficient as it needs to be for how much, how many honey block uh, the boys need for different redstone builds. And in that time, I also had barns need a bunch of honeycomb. And since I was the only one who was really breeding up bees, that fell to me. So. I did get him his amount he needed, but it took me a little bit longer to breed the bees up for the honeycomb one because we also want honey blocks, the honeycomb blocks, as well as honey blocks. 
and we're trying to get this up so that we can go and sell some of these in the shopping district. Um, I also did, in the meantime, get a portal. And this particular portal uh, has entrances to all the boys' bases. And it also has a way to the nether hub and the shopping district. So we have been working hard. We need to get Dickie a shulker full of wool so he can go raid a ancient city and get us all swift sneak. So we've got a couple of sheep up here that are just plugging away as we're doing things. Um, just your most basic of sheep farms. Dispenser with shears, observer on the grass block and you know just does its thing slowly but surely we're probably going to have to expand that and i probably will do that in between episodes kind of like i did while i was getting frustrated by bees but the other thing we have that i wanted to show you is over this way and it's gonna take me a minute so i probably am gonna like speed this up i don't know right over here and by the way that is Sam's base that's where he is going to build his mega if we pop down here if I can there we go if we pop down here you can kind of see we found an amethyst geode. Not only did we find one, but we found, whoops, ran right through that one. Um, we found another one right there. So we have already started collecting these. And I think this one actually is closer to where Sam has been working. So because I harvested these not long ago and we're already back to almost full again. Um, but we have been able to set up in the glass shop that Super Collide had already started after trading with villagers. We've been able to set up a tinted glass shop. So we've got that going and we're going to have honeycomb soon. So we are helping our guild make money with these things and i'm super happy to be able to do so because it seems like i um i can't help them with all of these super redstone farms that you're doing but i can do little things like go and manually harvest um the amethyst shards and craft up honey blocks and that sort of stuff so I'm happy to help provide the, to the diamond stack that we all have. I'm happy to say that I um, am excited that Akita Wolf was able to get us all netherite armor. That is awesome. And we're going to have to end this episode here because it has been quite a week and I need to get this edited and out to y'all. Um, but... I will see you again next week when we will be working on another redstone farm. So go down in the comments and say, <laughs> say how long you think it might take me to build that particular farm. We're going to be working on a mud farm for next episode. So we will see you next time. And once again, thank you for watching. This has been Lavender Mama. And we'll see you next time.